In this tutorial, you will learn about the layout of SMS Mobile and how to view multiple data sets in the same mapping window. Upon opening SMS Mobile, the home screen will be displayed. This screen is comprised of four major sections. Project List, Field Operations, Review, and Setup. The projects list will be populated with all projects that have been created in SMS Mobile, as well as all projects that were exported from the SMS desktop software. When creating new projects in SMS Mobile, you can customize the name to match the data it will contain, whereas projects exported from the desktop software will be named according to the project the data was exported from, as well as showing you the name of the device setup utility configuration in parentheses behind the project name. The Field Operations section includes all five operating modes available in SMS Mobile Boundary, Soil Sampling, Crop Scouting, Coverage Logging, and General Logging. The Field Operations section is where you will begin logging all new data sets as well as editing any existing data sets. The Review section includes the Data Set Summary, Data Set Viewer, and Export Tools. The Dataset Summary tool will allow you to select any dataset that was recorded or imported into SMS Mobile and view all the details of the dataset in a text format, much like a report. The Dataset Viewer tools will allow you to select any dataset currently stored in SMS Mobile and view a map of the information. The Export tool is used to export any datasets that have been recorded with or edited in SMS Mobile as a generic shapefile. You can customize on a per operation basis what attributes and properties are contained in the exported data. The setup section will allow you to create new management items, attributes, properties, and adjust general settings. You can add new growers, farms, fields, products, resource tracking entries, and pests under the setup menu. You can also import shapefiles into SMS Mobile using the data set maintenance tool. You can even download satellite imagery into SMS Mobile if your device is connected to the Internet. The transfer management items will allow you to share any items you have customized, such as product and pest names, with other SMS Mobile projects to prevent you from having to enter the information more than once. Finally, you can register your SMS Mobile software using the registration tool in this section. The Help menu is available in all field operations and throughout the SMS Mobile software, if you need additional assistance with any of the tools. In the Mapping window, you can view up to four layers of information at the same time, ensuring that you have all needed information at your fingertips while in the field. To turn on additional layers, go to the Map menu and choose Select Layers, or click on the Select Layers icon from the Mapping toolbar. Select the type of layer to turn on and click OK. Choose the layer you wish to turn on as a background layer and click OK. You can modify the settings for all layers that are being displayed by clicking on the Settings button. There are four tabs available on this screen. The Drawing tab will allow you to adjust the general appearance of your map, such as the transparency, point size, line width, and if you want the polygons to be filled or outlined. The Legend tab allows you to select what attribute or property you wish to have displayed and also modify the color settings and ranges. Click the Select button to choose what value to display in the legend. The Sublayers tab will allow you to modify the related data set, mark, and buffer settings if there are any present in the currently mapped data set. In addition to modifying the layer and their settings, you can also turn on tooltips. Go to the Map menu and choose Select Tooltips. You can choose to turn on two different tooltips that can be pulled from any data set currently being displayed. Select the layer from the drop-down and click the Select button to choose what spatial statistic, attribute, or property you wish to have displayed as a tooltip. Tooltips are displayed in the lower left-hand corner of the screen and will update as you move through the field. The toolbar that is displayed at the bottom of the screen can be used to access many tools, in addition to them being available in the menu items. 
You can customize what icons are displayed in each operation by going to the Help menu and choosing Toolbar and Set Visible Tools. Simply check the items that you wish to have displayed and click OK. This will help you to condense the number of tools being displayed so that all of the most commonly used tools are displayed on the main screen without having to scroll through the entire toolbar. You have now learned about the layout of the SMS software, how to turn on and modify the settings of additional data sets, display tooltips, and customize the toolbars to meet your specific needs. To learn how to utilize other key features of the software, please review the other tutorials.